Phila? What do I got? Con. So I just went to Comic Con, Wizard Con, Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's interesting because over the last couple of years, I've gone to to that con, and there's always people there passing out these little business card type things for Con TV. And I was like, yeah, whatever, throw it in the bag, keep going. Um, and I think two years ago, I got one, and they were like, well, yeah, we our our website isn't created yet. We aren't we aren't legitimate yet. But here's here's some here's a here's a card to remind you. Um, so I uh, like I said I never paid attention to it, and this time someone came up to me and, and started talking about it, and I noticed that Con TV had a giant center stage. If you remember watching G4 TV um, during San Diego Comic Con, where they had like kind of like their lift up in the air where they could see the whole entire con floor and did did interviews and whatnot, it was kind of like that. So I, I definitely decided to. to pay a little more attention to them this time um so con tv is they have an app and they have a website and it gives you all access to all the wizard cons um which to me is pretty darn cool so you can see a live streaming of um david Tennant getting interviewed and billy piper um from or for the love of star trek as i'm looking at right now (laughs) um they have they have a bunch of different different things that they have pre-recorded from cons they do live streams during the cons they also do b movies and their favorite trailers um there's old school Saturday morning cartoons. Nice. Um, old school TV shows like Twenty One Jump Street. So they got, actually got rights to some weird old stuff, or maybe stuff that's out of copyright. Yes. Yeah, so, so that so and and it's interesting because it's so it's free with advertising, mm-hmm. or you can pay a small fee and watch without ads, which I I think is a, a pretty good idea to get people involved. Um, and, and, and who wouldn't want to watch shows or movies like A Very Zombie Holiday? <laughs> or where was the other one? I was, there was a B movie that just made me laugh. Um, Bikini Girls on Ice. Whoa! Which is a woman's college soccer team um, is on their way to a bikini car wash fundraiser. They decide to set up shop in front of an abandoned gas station on the edge of town. Little they, do they know the place is a stocking ground for a homicidal maniac. So, so uh, there's there's a lot of interesting things on here. What I'm actually interested in, because obviously the different cons are going to have different famous people there, and, and different interviews with those people. Um, also, the interviews and, and Q and A sessions can obviously change from city to city. Um, and I know a lot of them they actually have have taken the same person and done their Q and As from. Tulsa to Vegas to Philly to to wherever they're going. Um, wow, they have wait, they. I thought it was like maybe they'd have some weird out of print kind of stuff. They have Voltron, Lion Force, and Legend of Zelda from the eighties. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy! So so it's it's for for a free streaming with just general geekery. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty darn impressed with their catalog, and like I said, like. I was waiting in line for Stephen Amell's autograph, so I missed one of the cosplaying uh, things that I wanted to get, workshops that I wanted to go to. And I looked on here, and and they do have recordings from other cities of the same the same workshop. Mm-hmm. So obviously, I don't know if they're going to post Phillies or not, but at least I can get some of the content that I missed. Nice. Um, so nice. I'm I'm very excited about and this. And you you almost need something like this because <clears throat> they are so big. You were saying how it's kind of become busy, like the new york comic-con yes ones. so i, I mean you, you really do need that to kind of check it out but also there's there's the experience but there's also the i can really just take it in here you know much like e3 or something like that like i do better serving say awesome cast or insert coin again just sitting at home and taking in what everybody else is reporting and responding to that and right. watching the live streams and everything i almost think that in, i i think to my experience is at pod camp mm-hmm. and ex- I, I can only imagine what goes on in other cities for PodCamp because it's all kind of homegrown concepts that are brought by local people. Mm-hmm. Um, and with that, wouldn't it be interesting if PodCamp could do something like this where there was PodCamp TV and you had every city's, every classroom 
we're not, we're not nearly as organized to do right. that. Well, no, but you would have to organize Pittsburgh and, and every other city right, that does right, it. Right, right, right. And, and obviously, this is this is a company that spun themselves up to do just that. And there's so many cons between Wizard and all the other ones. They, they can there's plenty of content. Right. You know, I, I I was poking through here and I had it up here for a second. But um, did you see this uh, morph? My morphing life with.